All right, guys, here it is, day two, uh, fishing uh, Tampa, Florida. We had a really bad storm um, early this morning, about five. It was horrendous, but uh, it kind of blew over. Um, it's not as windy as it was yesterday. So yesterday, um, I know you guys can't see it, but Gandy Bridge is back over there. Yesterday, I was on that side, took the kayak out, was fishing the pilings of the bridge. Uh, a lot of good action not not the species I was targeting though so I got word from the local bait shop it's a uh, Gandy bait and tackle uh, to try this side and there are docks back that way and that kind of run along there oyster beds um, no one's selling fiddler crabs right now so I was able to find some mud crabs uh, I got about two dozen of them there's a little rock pile right here just kind of flip rocks dug them up also got some fresh shrimp so um, we are targeting the sheep's head today. Um, there are also some uh, redfish back in here, speckled trout. So um, we'll see what happens. But I'm going to try these docks over to the right first and see if we can't find the sheep's head. Uh... All right, guys, so we're coming up on the first set of docks, um, one of the local restaurants here to the right. But uh, we're going to try just see what we can find right here by these uh the dock pilings and stuff. Um, throw in a mud crab and see what happens. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Ah. Alright guys, first sheepy of the day right here. So, uh, this is what we're targeting. Unfortunately, he's undersized, but they are they are in here. So uh, he's gonna go about eight inches. Got to put him back. But it is good to know that the sheep's are in here. So again, pretty little uh, sheep's head undersized. So we'll go him put him back. All right, guys. So we're gonna try this again. Get right up in there in the corner. See if we can't get something a little bit bigger. Perfect. Got a bite, got a bite. Oh, got him. Sheeps are in. Another little undersized guys here, but still fun to catch. So, this is what we were after today. So, another nice little convict here. Beautiful fish. So, we're using uh, mud crabs today. Uh, like I mentioned, had to dig them up. No one's selling any fiddler crabs. So, good old flipping rocks and catching muds. Oh, nice this is a keeper oh lord please tell me I got the net <laughs> I forgot the net oh. oh lord I right, got our first keeper of the day guys right in the corner of the mouth circle hook nice keeper sheepy so I didn't even feel him hit So again, he's going to go about 13, I don't know, 15 maybe. So 
he's a keeper. He's all right, guys. Just literally threw out a crab. Got a little real undersized sheepies. Um, so they're definitely into this pier here. It was just a really light thump. Little guy here, still pretty. He gone. There he is. There he is. All right, got him. Oh, mangrove snapper. So a uh, little different, guys. So this is a mango snapper, aka gray snapper. Um, that was also on my target list, but a little undersized here. I might be throwing some shrimp under here. Go after these guys here. But little chompers there, snapping. We got some teeth on them. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> he's going back guys, let him get bigger. So the bite is almost instantaneous when you drop it. It is uh, that good around these docks. Alright. Back up here, get back into position. guys another sheepy again undersized <laughs> still fun to catch Another pretty little guy right there. All right, so the, the one keeper we caught was in this little pocket right here. We're gonna try to get back in there with these little uh, mud crabs. Oh, ripped it right out of his mouth, guys. Right out of his mouth. Oh, he bit me off. So that might have been a good one. I got bit off on that one. guys there he is I mean their their hit is so light it's like a tap tap you would think it's like a little pinfish um, <laughs> got a little leg sticking out of his mouth so <sighs> so I get the hook out Back you go. Try to pull in right in here. Just kind of pitch 
pitch that shrimp under there. Well, that'll work too. There he is, guys. There he is. Oh, I've been I've been killing him all day. The uh, keeper though is right here. <laughs> so the sheep's head are uh, hitting on the shrimp as well. Um, I think I'll go ahead and switch to the shrimp. Target the mango uh, mangrove uh, snapper as well as some of the larger sheepies. So they're they're feeding. There he is, guys. There he is. Another sheepy. Another sheepy. So I'm on fire today, guys. I am on fire. Barely hooked in the lip. Again, just going really ultra light, guys. Um, one single split shot. About a uh, 20 inch liter and uh, just feeling that tap. As far as the shrimp, I'm just hooking them in the back in that first joint, just have the hook pop out through the top. Those uh, sheepies are pretty uh, quick on spitting a hook out. So, usually, when you feel that first tap, you gotta be ready with that hook hook set. It's probably one of the smaller sheepies like I've been catching, but I know there's some monsters in there. is guys oh pulled it out pulled it out we'll try again with a little head piece here there he is guys one feels like a little bit better. Yep. I don't think he's going to make eight inches. He's probably seven at best. But we'll measure him just for uh, chuckles and grins. One thing you don't want to do is get spined. They hurt. If he'd open his mouth, I'd be able to pop it out. He's just clamped down right now. There we go. Just for chuckles and grins. Let's see what he measures that. Oops. So he measures uh, nine and a half. It doesn't really matter what I throw out there, what part, head, tail of the shrimp, uh, they're still hitting it.
my god, there he is, guys. I, I've lost count. They are so thick under here. I'm a lot of underside sheepies, but like one in 20 <laughs> might be a keeper. But uh, I've caught a couple mangroves. Um, oh. <laughs> Yeah, once or twice. Once or twice. Beautiful boat. <laughs> so we're just pitching it slowly, just right up there, letting it fall. Oh, missed him, guys. He took it. I'll, I didn't get the hook set in time, but felt a little little tap there. So we're just pitching it slowly, just right up there, letting it fall. Oh, missed him, guys. He took it. I'll, I didn't get the hook set in time, but felt a little little tap there. There he is, guys. There he is. Another sheepy. Getting a little bit bigger. Not going to go 12 inches though. So, definitely not putting my fingers in there. go. Alright guys, <laughs> it's uh, I'm not going to say this, but uh, I mean, catching these little sheepies are fun, but uh, I might be moving on for some of those redfish and speckled trout back uh, over there on the oyster bed if I don't get uh, something a little bit bigger here. I know they always say you get in a hot spot, don't leave it, but I'd like to have something for dinner. Pulled it right out guys. That was that felt like a little bit bigger one. That felt like a little better fish. Their uh, mouths are so bony. Uh, the coral crunchers, the teeth, uh, to get that hook set, it's 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 a hit and miss, guys. It is a hit and miss. So that one guys.